<laughs> Our next guy coming up to roast you, Mike. Successful man. Got his own show. Hasn't gone to his head. Is that noon talk show? Yeah, it's that, it's that noon talk show. And Kenny, this is probably the first time you'll be talking to adults. <laughs> In quite a while. Speak for yourself. Thank you. Thank you, Wayne. Thank you, Wayne. <laughs> Kenny over. Thank you. Thank you very much. First of all, um, it is so good to be back amongst my friends. Uh, you know, I haven't done stand-up in a long, long time, and I, <clears throat> I, I seriously don't know how you guys do it, how you get up in front of strangers every night. It is the hardest thing in show business. Reading stupid questions off cards is nothing compared to what you guys do. No, I, and, and seriously, it's, it's really good to see a lot of people I haven't seen. Just behave yourself for two minutes, I'll be done. Um, seeing a lot of people I haven't seen in a long time, I've missed a lot of you. Uh, those of you who I've missed, you know who you are. And um, I'd just like to say that, you know, I honestly would like to come up here like Elliot and say that I knew Micro well, but as you know, I haven't been at the improv in so many months that when they asked me to do this thing and be on the dais, I honestly forgot who he was. And, uh, <laughs> Thank, thank God for Diane Krauss and that comic registry because I just filed it up, you know. I, I thought it was Mike Reynolds, you know, and I was doing all these... I'd written all these gambling jokes and then, you know, I, I thought it was him. And, you know, so I really don't have anything prepared. But, um, but so rather than stand here and sling like verbal pokes at, at this sort of like... You know, guy who has, let's face it, the guy's got more fucking scripts floating around than all the major studios put together. It's amazing. Mike has written, pitched, or specced for every, like, major TV show out there. Mike takes credit for Hill Street Blues, Barney Miller, Mary, Mary Tyler Moore, just to name a few of the current hits. And Mike has come up to me and said, you know, I wrote the pilot episode for all those. And, uh... So, uh, I, like I said, I want to stand here and take posts of the guy because I hardly know him. But uh, I do want to, one thing that will always stick in my mind is the day I passed at the improv, he was the first person to be nice to me. You know, I, I came in there and Mike was already an A act. You know, he was, uh, I saw the picture on the wall of Pryor, Klein, and Mike, you know, with their arm around each other. I, Mike passed when he was about eight years old at the improv. And, uh, <laughs> He came up to me, you know, I was kind of a little bummed. I had just been bumped by the um, Heyman and Mendy comedy team. And, um, <laughs> and, you know, I had a new four and a half minutes, so I was a little pissed. And Mike came up and with that, you know, pretty boy Floyd face of his kind of came over. Just, you know, looked at me like he does, like he looks at men and just kind of came over. <laughs> and I'll never forget this. He grabbed my cheek, smiled, and he said, hey, you're new. Don't order the Tudor milk on weekend. She gets upset and walked away. And all I can say, all I can say in all seriousness is someday, someday, someday they're going to find a cure for this disease. And, and when... He's not sick. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought he was sick. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, he's moving. I thought he was sick. I'm sorry. All the stars came tonight. Woody Allen, Kenny Over. And then now we have another telegram that just came in. Mike who? Steve Allen. Great. <laughs> Do that, eh? Good for you, too, Mike. This is all for you. Remember that. Another hoagie for Mr. Rowe, please. As we continue, as we continue, can we get Mike's other tux, please?